Everybody was looking forward to Dallas visiting San Francisco. Everybody except Green Bay. And they did something about it. We'll talk Packers and 49ers next on DJ Football. He is Daniel Jeremiah of the NFL Network. I'm Ryan Brown. This is DJ Football presented by MyBookie.ag. Go next round when you sign on at MyBookie.ag. Get that sign-on bonus with that code. You could use it right away. Win once with it. It is yours and yours forever. Bet anything, anytime, anywhere with MyBookie.ag. Code next round. We are to the divisional round of the playoffs. What is up, DJ? How are you? I'm doing great, man. Uh, I wish we had more close games last week. We got we got one really close game. It was a great game, but... Hopefully this week they're a little more evenly matched and we see some some closer games. If I had told you that Dallas Green Bay was a blowout, would you have said, okay, well, Dallas is on to the next round? Well, 16 in a row at home probably would have taken me in that direction. Yeah. Um, I mean, the, the, just a smaller number, a smaller number next to their name, too, you know, in the Yeah, that's, that's true. Uh, and, you know, the. The only people more disappointed in hindsight than uh, than the Cowboys and their fans was apparently the Lions and their fans because they wanted yep. a piece. They wanted a piece of the Cowboys and they're not yep. going to get it. The Cowboys didn't survive. So, um, yeah, no, I was shocked by that. You know, the result, I would say, like you told me, Green Bay snuck out a win and the score, of course, made it look way closer than it was a 32 point game with six minutes left in that game. Um, I would never have believed if you'd have told me they were going to go in there and blow the doors off the Cowboys like they did. Jordan Love, though, was spectacular. I mean, especially in the first half. He was spectacular in the first half. The ball barely touched the turf. He was making great decisions. Dallas was completely confused with what uh, with what Green Bay was doing. And his, his play was just, I mean, the, the spectacular is the only word I can come up with. Yeah, you know, to me, with him and uh, C.J. Stroud making their first postseason starts, I've never seen anything like that, where those yeah. guys were so in control and so even and playing at such a high level, protecting the ball, but also uh, making big plays down the field. And then, of course, you know, with with Green Bay, I thought the offensive line played well. They had a clean sheet. There were no sacks allowed. He doesn't turn the ball over, you know, through the air. And then and then on the ground, you get Aaron Jones, who just he loves to run against yeah. the Dallas Cowboys. That's for sure. Uh, and you look at what Jordan Love basically did the last five weeks of the year and into the playoffs and did it without Christian Watson. And now here comes Christian Watson back. And if he can get anywhere close to 100%, how much better is this offense with him back in there? Well, you referenced what he's done. And, uh, you know, when, when you look through the packet, and we get these packets and you go through and you're looking at all the numbers on these games and you're like, I know Jordan Love finished strong. I know he played right. well. I did not know it was 21 touchdowns and one interception since week 11. I was not aware that that was the level at which he's playing. I mean, he's been on fire. You know, and they've basically been in the playoffs for like four or five weeks. Have to no question, no question. So um, he's put it together. And I look, let's give Lafleur some credit as well. He was in his bag in that game in terms of the play calling. I mean, they had stuff set up all over the place, and they had Stephon Gilmore. He was he had no idea where he was uh, the way they were attacking him. So uh, that was a that was a complete offensive performance. But yeah, Jordan Love, give him all the credit in the world, not just for this game, but how hot he's been, you know, for quite some time now. And their defense created turnovers, and it was not Dak's best game. And, and listen, they had gotten behind, so Dallas had to throw a lot, and Green Bay knew they were going to have to throw a lot. But you've got to give their defense credit, including a pick six. They created turnovers. No question. Um, and you know. Defensively, with all the talent they have over there, they have eight first-round picks on the defensive side of the ball. They've been frustrating to me of why they don't play at that level consistently because they have the guys to do it. There's not, I mean, all three levels, they've got impact, talented players. So nice to see them kind of putting that together at the right time. And then, you know, when you when you start fast-forwarding and, and, and looking into this game, I mean, there's – my first thought was, oh, my gosh, you know, congrats on beating the Cowboys, but they're, they're going to get – trashed by the 49ers and the longer i studied i don't know if i'm talking myself into this ryan but i'm beginning to think like the more i look at this i think they got a they got a, a fighting chance here they got a fair shot at this thing oh interesting we'll find out why in just a moment dj will tell us what he sees that gives them a shot because mybookie.ag has as we record this san francisco a nine and a half point home favorite total of 50 and a half but san francisco almost a 10 point favorite in this game DJ says, not so fast, my friend. We'll discuss why he thinks Green Bay's got a shot in San Francisco 
After I remind you, the DJ football is presented by MyBookie.ag. Code next round. When you sign on at MyBookie.ag, you get that sign-on bonus. You can use it right away when once with it. It is yours and yours forever. They've got great games, casino games, uh, NFL games, parlays, things like that at MyBookie.ag. Go see it for yourself because you can bet anything, anytime, anywhere with MyBookie.ag. And don't forget code next round. Also, I have in my hand the handyman from Manscaped.com. This is their great compact razor. Easy to travel with, but works great anywhere you use it. Just one of the great products you can get at manscaped.com. We're going to give you a code to save on your first order as well, so hang tight. But I want to remind you, get great things like the Beard Hedger there. It takes care of your beard with a bunch of individual settings on a guard that doesn't pop on and pop off, so it doesn't pop off at an inopportune time and gap up your beard. Also, you can get the uh, Weed Whacker. It takes care of the nose hair and the ear hair. The lawnmower, which takes care of the full body, including the undercarriage. And... Great boxer shorts, male body products, all right there at manscaped.com. I mentioned the code to save DJF20 because you're watching and listening to DJ Football. DJF20 is your code. And when you enter DJF20, you get 20% off your initial order and free shipping at manscaped.com, code DJF20. All right, DJ, hit me with it. You think Green Bay's got a chance as almost a 10-point underdog? Why? Well, they need to survive the early punches because – you're going to have a fresh 49er team, you know, who can rush the passer, who are great after the catch, who have an elite play caller. Uh, you know, all those things come together. They're going to take some haymaker shots here from the 49ers early in this ballgame. If they can survive that, uh, a couple of reasons why I give them a little bit of hope. And it's not only just from what you see, but it's also from when you, you kind of go through the numbers here. Uh, when you look at the offensive line that's been that has the third best pressure rate in the NFL. So they've been able to protect the quarterback. Yep. They run two tight ends uh, that was top five in the league, fourth most in terms of, of two tight end stuff. So I think with the tight ends, I think with the offensive line, they have a chance to at least slow down this front uh, from, from San Francisco. And I think if they can do that, I do think they're going to find some some matchups. And they're a tough team to defend because you don't just say, like last week, like the Dallas Cowboys, it's CeeDee Lamb. We got CeeDee Lamb. We got to devote attention to him. And in the playoffs, we're going to make teams left-handed. We're going to take away that right hand. What's the right hand of the Green Bay Packers? They've got three to four young wide receivers. They've got two really talented young tight ends. They've got a back that can run it and can catch it out of the backfield. I don't know like where you can kind of zero in and say, we're going to take this away. So if you can have time, I think they have some guys that can win uh, down the field. So that, that, that's, look, they've got to they've do it against the best. I mean, this is the as good as it gets here with the 49ers. But I, I think we're looking at those factors. I give them a fighting chance. The thing that I'm concerned about is those early haymakers they're going to take. Uh, and, the, and, and the other thing is just Green Bay plays a lot of single high safety, and Kyle Shanahan can feast on that. Yeah. Um, he's done it historically throughout his whole career. So that would be the thing that that's, that's my drawback and concern. And so many people, when they talk about San Francisco, they're like, listen, Brock Purdy cannot continue this forever. At some point in the postseason, the sh other shoe is going to drop. I mean, truth is, he could continue this forever. I mean, this may not just be the flash in the pan everybody thinks it is. Yeah, the other thing going through that and looking at that this week, like Brock Purdy, it, to me, I think about Shanahan and I talk about early in the game, scripting things, getting them off and running. They play with the lead and they're they're outstanding. Mm -hmm. I was kind of surprised when I went and looked at like Brock in the fourth quarter has been out has been excellent. He's been yeah. outstanding. So obviously you go back to that Cleveland game, should have had a game winning drive there. They missed the kick. Um, so even even, you know, I think they can they can play any type of game. You know, I, I really do believe that with the 49ers. However, you get you find your way into a high scoring game, which I don't anticipate, uh, but they have the firepower to do that. And if it's a slobber knocker run the ball game, you've got Christian McCaffrey running behind that offensive line. Uh, they can do that as well. Make no mistake. They, they are the better team. They're the more talented team. They're the more experienced team. Um, but crazy things happen in the playoffs. We see it each and every week. They're also the rested team. And I mentioned that about Green Bay. Is Green Bay's been in the playoffs for a little while now. They could not yeah. get zero margin for error. San Francisco's been in the playoffs. They know they've been in the playoffs for quite a while. They had the one seed locked down. They were able to rest and then get a week off. So this is an extremely rest, which sometimes that backfires on you. But but oh, I the think the Dodgers say it works out great. The Dodgers love it. They think it's, it's awesome. <laughs> I think given the choice, though, anybody would pick where San Francisco is body wise right now. <laughs> they didn't have to go to Dallas and play a game last week. Yeah, rest versus rust. You know, we're going to have yeah. that conversation every year uh, in all different sports. You have that, but um, you know, again, the, the challenge with with San Francisco is you can you have elite elite guys, and then there, you know, if you think of them like. 
uh, you know, like horses, like they have thoroughbreds and they're rested and fresh and ready to go. That's why I'm telling you green Bay, green Bay can't win the game in the first quarter, but they can very much lose the game in the first quarter. Hang on, man. Just hold on, hang in there. Um, and don't let that thing run away from you because you, I'm telling you, you, the, those first 15 Kyle Shanahan's had this much time. He's talking about, uh, getting oh, ready yeah. for these guys during the second quarter of that game. Um, it's going to be haymakers, right? You got to survive that first 15 in, the, in that first quarter. DJ football presented by mybookie.ag, where San Francisco is a nine and a half point favorite currently over the road team Green Bay. San Francisco at home favorite nine and a half. You can play that game at mybookie.ag. Bet anything, anytime, anywhere. Mybookie.ag. Don't forget code next round when you sign on, code next round to get that sign on bonus that you could use right away with mybookie.ag. Also, manscaped.com, code DJF20 for 20% off your initial order and free shipping when you order at manscaped.com with code DJF20. Right here at Disrupt the Media, same place you get this video. We've got previews of a couple of other playoff games, Houston at Baltimore in the AFC and Kansas City at Buffalo in the AFC divisional round playoffs and Brock Heward and Lance Taylor breaking down some playoff games as well. You can get all of those right here at this same place, Disrupt the Media. Please give us a thumbs up on this video. Make sure you have subscribed and set your alerts at Disrupt the Media. He is Daniel Jeremiah of the NFL Network, and this is DJ Football.